you guys and welcome back to another video with DIYs by Carolina. I hope you guys are doing well and having a phenomenal Monday. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Carolina and I would absolutely love to have you join my family of subscribers. And as always to my existing subscribers, welcome back you guys. So I do want to start by saying thanks to you guys for following me in this front yard makeover series. It's been a long road. It's been a total of five parts to this series, but we're finally at the end and I can't wait to share with you guys the full makeover of everything that we've completed before and after footage, all of that. So I'm super excited. And again, thank you guys so, so much for your support on my channel. And don't forget, share the video, share it with your friends and family and get out there and let's do some work in this yard, you guys. Um, the fall is about to come, cooler temperatures, so I'm excited about that. So I am looking forward to just sharing with you guys all the different projects that we undertook in the front yard. I feel like we did quite a bit, okay? Even though it was, it was five parts, I think it was five parts well spent. So I'm just super excited about that, you guys. And um, yeah, I can't wait to show you. Okay, you guys, so here's a look at the space I'm going to be DIYing in this front yard final series, part five. So I'm going to be giving my front porch area a nice refresh, okay? I'm actually going to be painting my front door. I'm thinking about trying this um, wood stain color to kind of make the door look like a wood door. This is something I've always wanted to try. And one of the reasons I want to do that is because you guys, my front door, is in really really bad shape there's a bunch of nicks scratches all of that so i definitely want to give this front door a refresh i'm also going to be changing out the doorknobs as well and in addition to that i'm super excited to say that i'm going to be removing this screen door this screen door is literally on its last leg you guys can see here it's literally separating from the little joints or whatever um yeah it's it's, it's pretty bad you guys um so yeah, I'm definitely going to be removing this. I'm so looking forward to this. Uh, the screen door doesn't even close all the way, you guys. I've, this screen door has actually been here ever since I moved into the house 15 years ago. So for all I know, this screen door is probably just as old as the house, you know. But I am going to be updating this screen door with a more um, modern screen door later on. But that's something I'll be adding in a later video. But yeah, I'm so looking forward to decorating and just refreshing this front porch area and just you know getting it ready for fall Okay, so here's a look at the paint and primer as well as the gel stain I'm going to be using in this project. So in the gel stain, um, it's the hickory color and the paint and primer is the color blonde. And so basically in my research with staining the door to make it look like a wood color, one of the things you first have to do, especially if you have a dark colored door already, is you want to paint or prime it a lighter color. And so this is an exterior paint and primer. And so I'm going to go ahead and paint this on first. And I'm going to try to apply maybe two, maybe three coats, depending on, you know, how much coverage I get. But I'm going to go ahead and paint this now. Yeah, I know it's dark outside. You guys know that's the best time that I actually do these projects because it's just too hot outside. So I'm going to go ahead and get this painted so I can go ahead and add the stain and try and get this project wrapped up so we can go ahead and move on. Okay, you guys. So it is the next day. I stayed up until, oh God. I'm going to guess around 10 o'clock um, or whatever. I wanted to get that first coat of paint and primer on the door 
So then that way to, you know, the next day I can go ahead and apply the second coat and move on from there. So I did manage to, you know, apply the first coat and got up this morning, applied the second coat. So that's currently drying. So while that's drying, I'm going to uh, actually go ahead and work on the next project that I have planned. Nothing huge or whatever, but there's something else that I wanted to do for this part five of the Front Yard Makeover series. And so once the front door dries, then I'll go back and start applying the gel stain so it's coming along nicely I'm super excited so let's go ahead and take a look at what the door looks like currently okay you guys so here's a quick look at what the door looks like behind me um you know it looks like a pale yellow color I thought when I picked up the swatch this was like a beige but um it's a pretty color it looks like a nice Easter or spring color I actually like this color to be honest but anyway, um, you have to paint your door a light color, um, especially if your door is like, like how mine was a really, really dark, dark green or whatever. It can't be a dark color, especially if you're planning to do like the wood color or the wood green, so to speak. So you definitely wanna first paint it a light color. Typically in the beige family, in this case, yellow, we're gonna hope for the best. But anyway, uh, once you do that, then, you know, you wanna go ahead and apply the uh, wood looking stain or whatever. So yeah, super excited. Also, uh, don't forget, I am going to be getting rid of this green door here. I'm only keeping it right now because I kind of use it as sort of a barrier uh, especially last night because there was a lot of bugs out and everything just to protect the door when I applied the first coat so that actually worked out really good today too because earlier it was raining so this kind of protected the paint so but I am going to be removing this screen door altogether and at some point I am going to purchase a new screen door something a little bit more modern more up-to-date y'all I'm sweating it's so hot so for right now this is just you know protecting the door you know until I finish this project okay you guys so let me just say one thing i did this project all wrong not sure if you guys can tell right here but i am literally painting in a circular motion with the gel stain that is completely wrong you're not supposed to go in a circular motion and in my mind while doing this i was creating the wood grain effect in the door no, I was not. Okay, I was creating a disaster is what I was creating. So anyway, um, I painted the entire door, you know, the entire time going in the circular motion. I did that with the entire door, let it dry, went back out the next day, took a look at it and was furious. I could not believe the way the door looked. It was horrible. Basically, the door was ruined. Um, I was mortified and honestly, I had even considered throwing the yellow paint on top of the gel stain. That's just how desperate I became. But I tried to fix it to the best of my ability, but I just wanna clarify, whenever you're doing you know, this type of uh, project or whatever, this is where you want to actually paint in a horizontal motion, only in those particular areas. Everywhere else, you should be going uh, in a vertical, you know, brush stroke whenever you paint. It, it should be vertical. So just keep that in mind, you guys. You know, mistakes happen all the time. You just have to learn from it, okay? And so I tried to clean this up as best I could to the point where I could truly say that I like what the door looks like. Now, do I love it? I'm getting there. I'm, I'm truly getting there, but right now I like it. I'm okay with it until I decide to do something different. And honestly, something different for me will probably be either getting a whole new door or, um, I don't know. I don't know. I have to kind of take a look and see what my options are, but, but yeah, guys, this was, um, this was a process. I mean, honestly, I thought I was able to get this done in two days max not so absolutely not so so yeah hopefully you guys can learn from this uh don't make this mistake or whatever watch several videos uh but yeah i just wanted to share that and point that out to you guys all right guys so now it's time to take down the screen door 
y'all pray for me that I can do this without any problems because this green door has been up ever since I bought this house which has been well over 15 years ago so let's get to it here I need to sand this down I don't think there's any rot because none of the boards break you know break the way um, right here this seems to be mm, I don't know I think it was because that thing um, on the screen door was kind of pulling on it a little bit but I may actually end up putting some bondo here but in the meantime I'm just gonna go ahead and just sand this really really good and just go ahead and give it a fresh coat of paint so yeah, that's what I'm going to do for right now. But yeah, here's what the door is looking like. This door is still fairly wet for the most part. Um, it still hasn't dried completely. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't love this door at first when I uh, stained it. But now... I do. I really, really do. It literally looks like a wood door. I think if I if I had to do anything differently, it would have been to change the color. I wouldn't have gone so dark. I probably would have, you know, added like a lighter wood stain color. But other than that, it looks like a wood door. I absolutely love the way this looks. <sighs> All right, guys. So... I went ahead and sanded around the door. I just filmed that off camera because you guys don't want to see me sand the door. But anyway, I sanded around the door and I went ahead and got some old white paint that I had inside the house and painted around the trim. So I think we're good to go for right now. I am going to get a screen door to put back here. It's going to be um, a more up-to-date screen door, of course. But yeah, I'm super excited. So now it's time to decorate. All right, so here's one final look at what the door looks like after it's been painted or stained. So yeah, this is going to have to grow on me. But in the meantime, let's get started with decorating. Okay, you guys, so the other thing that I wanted to do to wrap up this front yard uh, series is to decorate the outside of my home for fall. Um, I absolutely love the fall season. So I wanted to go ahead and get everything decorated and in place so I can enjoy as much of my fall decorations as I can. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be decorating the front porch area and then I'm also going to be decorating throughout the front yard space around the mailbox, um, in my little flower bed area. I'm not going to overdo it and put too much, just little subtle hints of fall. So let's go ahead and get started with that.
take one last look at the before and after footage of the entire front yard space. Thank you.